Um, hello guys, I'm Mr. Shimuni Ngeni here. So we are here in mixed settlement uh, to do a river study and our uh, um, population study. As you can see just here, there's a river flowing with water, so we came to do that. And if you just look up at the horizon, you will see the settlement. So we'll be doing that today. And I, I hope it's gonna be fun and see you down the video. Hey guys, so today we're going to measure the depth of the river and we are the instruments we're using is two ringing poles, a rope, measuring stick, measuring tape, and then we have a recording sheet there. So first we're going to measure the depth of the width. So it's 137. No, it's 357. 137.138. That is the what now? The depth. The width. The width. The width. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to um, record the intervals at five people. Interval. And the first one is 70. Since we're measuring the width of the meander, you can see, as you can see from the inside of the meander, which is this side, the water is flowing very slow and shallow. And this side of the meander, the water is very fast and deep and it's creating a, a cliff, kind of a cliff towards the meander, which is also caused by erosion. Yeah, it's very deep. Yeah, and we have to measure the width of the river. We're going to need two ranging poles, one for each side. So guys, to measure the width of the river, we're going to need two ranging poles, we're going to need a rope and a measuring stick and also a measuring tape we put the rope across the two ranging poles to measure the width of the river and then we're going to measure the equal intervals to measure the depth <laughs> So as you can see here, we measured our width of the bank and it gave us one, 187, 189. So when we did that, we divided it by five to get five equal intervals that we can measure the depth with of the river. Right now, as you can see, we are measuring the depth of the river at each interval. And we do that by looking at where the river touches the measuring ruler. ruler. And what are you doing? Right now I'm busy recording uh, the measurements. <laughs> we are answering our test. Um, we are going to the next uh, section on the next study, which we are going to be doing uh, velocity. So we are done now measuring the depth of the river, which we were doing at the meandering section and a straight section. And as they have said already in the video, what you usually need is the measuring stick because it's what determines the depth of the river. And for you to do that, you have to have an equal interval across the width of the river. And for you to get the width of the river, you need a measuring tape because you need to see how wide it is and then you divide it into five equal intervals. And of course, you're going to need the two measuring sticks, our measuring tops. Um, not measuring steps but ranking poles on either side of the stream so in this case we improvised using this and that to put it across with the rope and if you see guys the rope was divided nicely equally into equal intervals as you can see there is little sections there of the equal intervals so that is basically what we were doing and these guys did a very good job keep it up guys so now what we are going to do is to measure the velocity of the river that is how fast the river is flowing and for us to achieve that just look down there we put up two ranging poles and he's holding an orange which we are going to use as a plot and a, and a, a timer a stopwatch and she's holding a measuring tape which we used so she's holding a measuring tape the yellow yeah which we used for us to determine the stretch across the two ranging poles where the two gentlemen are standing so that is a distance of 20 meters and we are going now to measure how long 
the orange is going to take to travel over the distance of 20 meters. For us to determine the velocity, we are going to divide the distance, which is 20 meters, against the time it, it took for the orange to cover the distance. First of all, we need these two poles here. This is at zero. And then on that side is at 20. So that's 20 meters on that side. We measured that using this, this measuring tape here. And this is our float that we're going to be using today. It's an orange. So, and then we're going to be timing how long it takes for the orange to reach the 20 meter stretch. Okay. Third trial. Stop. We did the velocity now, so we did it three times. So now what we are going to do is to get the average time it took for the uh, float to take to, to travel across the area. So guys, how long did it? How are we going to calculate the average? Okay, Lisa. Hey guys, right now we're in the location and we're asking people a few questions. So sorry to disturb you. We're here at a school and we're interviewing um, people in your community. And I just want to ask some few questions. Is that okay? okay so are you employed, unemployed, self employed, student? I'm not employed, I'm just a patient of Lent Hospital, but I do get great. Okay, and um, why did you come to Windham? Is it for job seeking, better living standards, or you born here? Mm, no, I was not born here, I was born in Kenya. My mom is a Unemployed, self employed. What is your employment status? You don't work here? No. Do you have health insurance? Yeah, you guys are tired, eh? Very much.